Julie Blanner from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy recipes, effortless entertaining ideas, home decor, and so much more. Today I'm sharing one of my favorite easy recipes with you. This is Aglio e Olio. It's an Italian classic and it's so easy to make and the best part is, is that you almost always have the ingredients on hand. Though it's one of my favorite meals in spring, summer, winter, or fall. This recipe consists of spaghetti or the noodle of your choice, olive oil, minced garlic, and Parmesan, and red pepper, which gives it just so much flavor. One of the things that's really important with a simple recipe is that you take every ingredient seriously. I like to use a good olive oil. I always have one on hand. Minced garlic, um, you can, of course, do fresh garlic. I just find mince so much easier and it's still full of great flavor. But the most important ingredient is grated Parmesan or um, Grana Padano. And I always fresh grate mine for the most flavor. The first step to make aglio e olio is of course to boil the water. I always like to prepare my noodles al dente and I love to make the water salty like the sea. While the water comes to a boil, we're going to go ahead and warm our olive oil. Now we're going to start by adding some red pepper in. And you'll notice I don't measure everything, though I include them in my full recipe. But with red pepper, I highly recommend you measure because a little goes a long way. You can always add more, you can never take away. And we're just gonna roast this red pepper a little bit to really infuse the olive oil. Now that our water is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and toss in our noodles. Now, as you may know, I like to make my own noodles. You can get my egg noodle recipe in the description below. However, box noodles do the trick too and they're quick and easy. We're gonna go ahead and get working on the sauce again. The sauce comes together so much quicker and easier than the noodles do. Now we're gonna add our garlic, and it's really important not to over brown the garlic or it will become really bitter. So we're gonna reduce our heat to low and kind of swirl. This takes just about a minute. While I'm doing this, I always like to watch carefully. Meanwhile, we're gonna stir our noodles and see how they're coming along. Remove our sauce from the heat now. Again, as we don't want to brown the garlic and make it bitter. Now we're just going to toss in our cooked spaghetti into our sauce. If you want, you can use a little bit of pasta water as well. And I just stir it on in. Now that we've tossed the pasta into our sauce, we're gonna add our fresh grated Parmesan or Grana Padano. Depending on how hot you make this, might depend on how much you want to use. Aglio e olio means garlic and olive oil. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe for more easy entertaining ideas, recipes, home decor, and so much more.